Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. And if you've been waiting on this one, like I think you have been, how to make a hologram with your smartphone. Yeah, absolutely. Get ready because we're about to get this one tackled right now. All right, so this is gonna be super simple, super quick and easy. Do me a favor, before we get further into this, smash the like and subscribe buttons right now and share it with anybody that you could possibly think of who might get some sort of value out of this. So the first thing we're gonna do is establish our scene. The scene here is the Punta Gorda Skate Park. I'm gonna have something that the hologram is gonna come out of. You can use your smartphone. I'm recording on my smartphone right now, so I'm going to just pretend that this is my smartphone. This is a little leather case for my USB-C hub uh, for my MacBook Air. I'm actually going to edit this on site right now here at the skate park and we're just going to get it done together, right? Because it's super easy, doesn't take any effort at all really. A little bit of patience if if that. So I'm going to pretend that this is where my hologram is going to come out of, okay? Maybe at this angle right here, I have it. I'm probably going to step, like I'm going to move away a little bit. So I'm going to click. I'm going to keep it like right within frame, you know, right down here, right, right within frame, okay? So I'm just gonna click it, pretend it comes up. I'm gonna scroll a couple times. Double tap because I like that. Scroll, scroll, I'm done with it. And I'm gonna push it towards the camera. That's what I did in my last scene, right? So that's all you're gonna do. Now, that, that scene right there is gonna be horizontal, 16 by nine, whatever the case may be and I'm gonna put that in my video one file. Now, the hologram itself that you've already, the, the screen capture, the screen recording that you already have, that's gonna be your hologram, and that's obviously gonna be vertical. That's gonna be in your V2 file, okay? That easy. One, two. So find the point where you want the hologram and drag that screen recording to the second video track above the main scene. Now you're gonna to go to your effects, your effects controls and then crop then position your clip. Adjust the clip to synchronize and then nest. I'm gonna go ahead and skip over a lot of that to save you some time. Now, the next step, you're gonna to go to your color balance and effects. Adjust with green and teal or blue, and then you're gonna to go to wave warp. Height 10, width 40, direction zero, wave speed five. And this is what's gonna make the clip look digital. Next, your next effect is going to be alpha glow. And you're gonna set your values to 100. And go ahead and change the color of the glow to whatever you like. Adjust the rotation and tilt to where it looks best with basic 3D hologram is done. Now, animate the hologram with position and scale to come out of the device or the little floppy thing. And optionally, you can add the Gaussian blur to really make it stand out. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Nice, quick, short video. I don't need to drag this out any further. Nice little hologram technique for using Premiere Pro with your smartphone right here on the spot. I was able to record, edit, and everything right here on the laptop, right here on site at the skate park. It's a beautiful, sunny day. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the house. If you found value in this content, please smash the like button. It costs you nothing. It does everything for the algorithm. It helps me out and enables me to create more valuable content for you guys. If you have anything else that you'd like for me to go over, let me know down in the comments. Also, after you subscribe, let me know down in the comments so I can give you a personal shout out. Stay tuned. Within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be having a really huge giveaway and a surprise for you guys. But anyways, thank you again. Love you. Have a good one.